because the CEO of Wayne Healthcare today decided, along with the board of directors, to open up so that we could pray for employees and staff this morning. You're still alive inside somewhere Or you just remain You plan myself skin and bone So people cause you pain I just wanted to basically just, uh, really just pray with you guys and look to bless y'all as you guys continue to pour into this community. Guys would, would you put your thumb on number one? For all I have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Okay, let's play a game. <laughs> Who sins the most here? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, we all do, okay? Finger <laughs> point there. Okay, let's go. Hey, what's up? Kyle Lance Martin here. Kyle Lance Martin here. Hey. Dr. Kyle Lance Martin here. Hey, Kyle Lance Martin here. Benny and the Jets. Hey. He's all the words so that no one may boast. He has given every single one of us a gift, but you don't have to work for it. It's totally free. So as your fourth word is that by faith you receive it. Whatever the scenario, whatever you're in, he wants to help you, but you have to actually say, I need you to be my, my Lord. Praying over county commissioner judges here at the Dark County Fair. I would just say it's something really to consider if you haven't. We're just going to be around here afterwards if you want to talk to us. But sometimes when I'm in groups, the Lord can just highlight people. Like just something specific. I don't know, I thought just like the Lord just like asked me. Both my boys are kind of struggling, and then this happens, and I feel like I, was, I don't, I don't, feel like I'm their mom because I should be able to provide like I always have been. In a month, everything's hit me. My grandpa has got, he's all we have. My dad committed suicide. My mom's never been in our life, and then my grandpa's raised up, and he's sick. He might not be here much longer. And then I'm thinking, who do we have? We don't have anybody. Let me pray. Um, thanks for sharing this. I just, okay. just felt like you were just, you're just carrying a lot of weight. I hear, Lord, as she wants a spirit of comfort. As I was praying, I just. This is a simple phrase. Um, you can't do this anymore. Like this. You're gonna try again. That makes sense. And then you try again. And so you're always hoping for the next thing. And the reality is that you need to have one steady thing. And you heard this today. Do you ever read this at all? I just got this, and I, no, I used to attend church when I was younger, growing up, and read some of the Bible then, but haven't read it fully. I don't know this time, I lost my way around here. When you do a blood infusion, right? You're getting yeah. new blood. Right. When you put your life in Christ, you get a whole new blood system. It's His. And then you're given the Holy Spirit. Today, He's saying, let, let me comfort you. Let me help you, but it takes little humility saying, I'm done trying this. I need Jesus. Why did you come today? Because of that, right? Because just said, I need help.
like I'm overwhelmed with everything. I don't, you know, and I'm at rock bottom. And just, that's why I came. I mean, not why. I mean, I've, I've, I've known for a long time I need to give myself to the Lord and, you know, don't push it off. I just, I don't know. I just feel like now's the time in my life. Amen. Now is the time. In this confusion, we'll start leading the clarity. So, I'd love for you to pray. Just talk to him. There's no formula, but tell him what we just said, and then you start. Is that all right? Dear Lord, um, if you could give me the strength and guidance to make better choices and accept you and change, um, help me change some things in my life, and just I just really need your help right now and guidance. That's what I need in my life. That's what I want in my life, and um, I hope. That I just I really need your help, Lord. Amen. He literally just gave you a heart change, like literally as you said that. That's how this works. Then gave you the Holy Spirit. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna connect you with. I mean, you already know Stephanie, but we're gonna share this with Stephanie because then what she'll do is that, I'll share with her a little bit, she's gonna help you start to grow in this. I've talked to Stephanie about, every, she knows everything, because I don't know, there's something that just pulled me to her. We had a talk yesterday in her car, and she prayed for me then, and then today, I didn't know you guys were coming, and I heard it over the PA, and then I called her, and she said, come on, and I come down, and she's been trying to get me to go all week, but I've been working two jobs. So isn't it cool, he knew your schedule, God knew your schedule that he'd send us to you. Yeah. Hey, Stephanie, can you come here for a second? Why don't you tell Miss Stephanie what you just did today? I came up to God. Thank you. When you go, you don't. And so we need 32 females and 33 males and one married couple. Here, would you come home? Would you come home? home? Uh, baptism. Uh, we're doing baptisms today. Why don't you think about it? And then you can tell Miss Stephanie if you want to. But I think it'd be a good don't wait, is my point. Like, God is totally coming after you, and you're saying, I'm receiving it. And when you go, you don't. When you're still your Look, we signed up for seven days with you all. Then we signed up for a second week with you guys. But then here's the deal. We're announcing a third week. Yeah. Amen. We're going to walk with you this week. But by the end of the next week, guess what? We're, we're going to hand you the baton. Because Ohio is, is ready for another city. When you go, you don't. Like you're putting on new clothes tonight, and it's the clothes of Christ. When that one worship song is going, we'll all be lined up back here. A lot of people get nervous just standing back there, just waiting. Just relax. So when that worship song is going, you would just be standing there in the back, okay? Just remember, plug your nose. Just enjoy it. You don't have to rush out. You don't have to run out. This, God's doing something in your life. Father, may this just be a, a time, a Joshua Stone, a, a marker in our lives. Why are you getting baptized tonight? I want to walk with Jesus. Amen. Now, because of my sister on the left, Miss Stephanie, who's been pouring and demanding, today after we went through the gospel and everybody left, Mandy said today was the day of salvation. And I now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You've been baptized, buried, and raised in the name of the Father.